Hi everybody, it's Kimberly, and today I wanted to continue talking about trust. And with that, I want you guys to really focus on trusting the signs that you're getting. The signs are amped up right now. Synchronicities with your twin, signs that the universe is sending you, it, there's a lot of new moon energy coming in, a lot happening in the cosmos. I think everybody is in a heightened state of awareness, which is amazing. And as you do that, you have to be ready to receive, recognize, receive, and translate the signs, and then trust them. So the RRTT, recognize, receive, translate, and trust. Okay, so... What do I mean by that? I mean, I've been seeing signs since I was a little girl. And at first, and I I came to have my own language with them. But when I first started seeing them, I thought it was like weird coincidences or whatnot. Now, of course, this always, this type of connection, synchronicity is happening also with soulmates. But with twin flames, it's even more intensified. So when you're getting, when you're seeing your twin's name or you're hearing the music that, you know, is special to the both of you or you're getting reminders or there's numbers on a license plate or um, it's, it, they're always going to be like, or you're seeing a, his or her birthday on um, a price sticker at the supermarket. These are not coincidences, everybody. This is the universe and it's intervening and it always is. So, um, I think right now though, there's a lot of this happening. I'm getting a lot of emails saying that I've, you know, that it's so weird that I'm getting these synchronicities, but it's not weird. You guys, it's because your twin is thinking about you too. And there's a lot that's shaking up right now. Like I feel like the universe is shaking it up. Um, there's new moon energy coming in. And I feel like after everything gets shaken up, some twins are going to come into union and some will reconnect either in the physical realm or by phone or have some sort of contact and others will still keep purging and, you know, doing shadow work and in, in like clearing the space to come back together into union. But there's a, I think many twins are going to come into union in the next several months. So like there's a lot happening right now. So, um, with the signs, especially you guys, it's, it's just like trusting the process. Like one thing that I did when I was younger and just learning, you know, what this all meant, learning to trust the signs is I kept, I showed you my dream journal in my last segment, which is a great way to record any dreams that you're having. Those are also synchronicities. They're also messages. Um, it can be telepathic messages, they can be prophetic messages, symbolic messages, record your dreams in a dream journal, especially when you have something that is powerful and stays with you. But for the signs, I, I think most of us have a smartphone nowadays. So if you have a camera on your phone and you see a sign and it's safe to do so, like don't be going 80 miles in your car and try to capture the license plate that's in front of you that has a special number on it. But, you know, in a safe capacity, take a picture every time you see a sign. Just try it for seven days. And um, this can be in life or with your twin. But specifically talking to those of you that are in a twin flame connection, this is a great exercise. Take a picture of it. Take a picture of it. Take a picture of it. And then at the end of seven days, go back and look at what your signs were. And I think if anything, um, it will validate the messages that you're getting, okay? And people will go, well, I don't understand what it means. I'm just seeing his birthday or I'm just seeing her birthday. Or, like, what does that mean? Well, it just means that, like, you know, things are stirring. The other person's thinking about you. You're thinking about them. There's a strong connection still. It's just like a... It's the universe saying, yeah, you guys are connected. Yeah, you know, hooray. So um, it's, it's, it's 
it's, it's amazing. So just try to open up to it, um, receive it. You have to be in a receptive mode. You have to be aware. Um, that's the, the very first thing. And then, you know, you, you have to learn how to interpret them. And sometimes the interpretation is just seeing it, knowing it's your twin and going, ah, having a little giggle or a little laugh or a smile or a little tingle in your heart, something, or maybe it's, you know, like a, oh, I miss my twin, like kind of an ache, but either way, that's how it will be. Now, from time to time, you may get very clear messages. For instance, I have an example. <laughs> Last week I connected with my twin by phone and I hadn't talked to him in two months. We had texted but not talked. And so this was a big deal to connect on the phone and have that physical contact, you know, and, and pull it really truly out of the 5G realm into, you know, what's happening in our lives. And it was really great to be honest. But what happened was he called and left me a message. And I had a very busy day and couldn't pick up his call. So I was anticipating calling him back when I got into the car. I had to make a long drive. So I'm in the car, I'm making this drive. I've listened to his voicemail message three or four times. And I'm ready to hit send to call him back. And something won't let me. I get nervous. I get fearful. I get anxious. Um, and I, like I said, it was a long drive. I was in the car for over an hour and I'm on the last 15 minutes of my drive and this, and going through an area that wasn't highway, but there were stoplights and there was a truck that came up behind me and actually I saw him. He was pulled off. Wait, this is, gets funnier. He was pulled off to the side of the road with his flashers on. Okay, so he's flashing at me. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing orange today for all of you because I'm like your big traffic sign right now. I'm talking about signs. So he's on the side of the road, the flashers on, then he come, you know, puts on his turn signal, directional, gets back onto the road, gets behind me, and I'm looking in the rear view mirror at what it says across the top of the truck. And it says rebuild X. I'm like, hmm, rebuild X. Like, rebuild your X, your relationship with your X? I don't know. It was a um, home remodeling um, company. And then it pulled off. The lane split into two lanes. And you could take a left turn. I stayed straight, and this truck pulled up next to me and then went off to the left and was at the stoplight with me. And I'm looking at the top of the truck, and in big, huge yellow letters, it says, hold on, I have to say it the right way, guys. I wasn't planning to tell you the story, but um, I have it also notated. I've been keeping track also of my signs. It's so important. Um, so at the, in big letters, it said, one call is all it takes to rebuild. In huge le yellow letters, it's, and there I am with my finger on the send button. Fearful, anticipatory, like just crazy anxiety about calling my twin back. And it says rebuilding, you know, like you're going to rebuild. One call is all it takes to rebuild. So I called him and, you know, we had a great conversation and it did feel like it was the very early stages of starting to rebuild or set new intentions or like set a life up for ourselves, but it's not happening yet. It's not time yet, but it felt like that, like that phone call stayed with me. It was, um, it, it felt like a new beginning of sorts, but, but not quite yet. It's just like, sit tight for a while, sit tight. So anyhow, like that truck didn't show up by accident, you guys. And I get these types of signs all the time, and you do too. So just pay attention to them. Pay attention to them. Um, so often I ask, let me see what other signs I've got that I can share with you. Last week I asked for clear signs about my twin, and I saw a um, pickup truck towing a boat. Like I literally asked, and then two minutes later <laughs> I saw this boat 
whizzing by me and it said say when and it made me think well you know what all this time I think I've been thinking I'm waiting for him but the truth of the matter is that it's up to me like it's telling me you just say when and so like I think deep inside I am ready but I still also have fears I have fears that I'll go back into my own patterns if we come together and you know, to do your shadow work on your own and work through some of your stuff on your own is great. And I think you dig into a lot of it. But the true test and the practice of it is by being in a relationship with someone or, you know, is by getting it mirrored back to you in relationships, whether it be with your mother, your sister, your brother, or your twin. And so I haven't had those buttons pushed. I haven't had those wounds triggered. And I you know, I hope that I've done enough work um, to have cleared this out now and so that I can be different for him. Um, so anyhow, I just want you to remember to trust the signs. I can't wait to hear all the stories of the cool signs and synchronicities you guys are getting. And keep a seven-day journal. Take photos. You know, I put them all into my little notes app. I put, even put the photos in there. Um on the iPhone, which is a great tool too. So you can kind of have it all in one place. And um, it's always cool looking back too to remember what you got. Um, one more thing, you guys. I saw, I was online. This is another sign. My name is Kimberly, as you all know. And uh, I was like looking for things and thinking about my twin and was looking for things online about. I don't know what. Maybe I was on Facebook. I don't know where I was. All of a sudden, this little icon pops up, and it was a book. No, I was looking for images, Google images. And this book icon pops up, and it says, <laughs> Union, Soulmates, Twin Flames, and True Love. And the author is Kimberly Powers. Get it? Kimberly, you have the power to do this. You have the power for manifestation. Um... And so I thought that was just really cool, and I and I saved it so you can see. But her name is Kimberly Powers, and so much of that is so true. Um, also, I wanted to tell you. I want to say it right here. I'm just referencing my um, my phone. I there is a a a reader on YouTube who I love, love, love her her videos and her readings. And I, I highly recommend you listen to her new moon forecast for Twin Flames because it is spot on. I think so many people are going to resonate with the majority of the messages that she gets and, and gives to us. Um, and so let me give you her name. Sorry, you guys. I just want to look it up and make sure I say it the right, the right way. Her name is Teresa, and um, the the channel is. Oh, I gotta find it. Sorry, bear with me, you guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Many of you were probably already watching this and may have already seen it, but if you don't subscribe to this channel, please do, and. Um, Sorry, I have so many emails. Thank you guys all so much for writing me and sharing your personal stories and um, being just like so amazing and um, and incredible. I love hearing them. Uh, if you don't get a full response from me, I'm trying my best to get everybody, get back to everybody in a timely fashion. So this woman, um, Teresa, is with Wings of Light Healing Arts. Wings of Light Healing Arts. She has a twin flame energy reading for the week of July 4th to July 10th. Seriously scary, spot on. Uh, it resonated with me on every level. Uh, it's 40 minutes or so. Take the time to listen to it. See what resonates with you. She's a wonderful reader if you haven't found her yet. All right. Signs, signs everywhere are signs, you guys. So um, let me know how you make out. Thanks. Have a great week.